What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to be making some aloe vera cubes for my face. I'm using an aloe vera plant, an empty ice cube tray, a sharp knife, and some wax paper. You'll also need a freezer. So I rinsed off the aloe vera first um, and now I'm just going to cut off the spiky sides of it. You don't want those to prick you, so just slice those off. I got the aloe vera plant from Stop and Shop. Um, I think it was like a dollar and change. Now I'm going to cut off the end of it. And you can see the difference in coloration of the two. Next, I'm just going to slice the bottom because this is a lot. I don't need it all for this little project. So I'm gonna save the rest. Now I'm gonna slice the skin off of one side of the aloe vera plant. And the idea is to make sure that you slice it so that all of the insides are on the side that's gonna stay. It's like filleting a fish, kind of. You can think about it that way. Not that I've ever filleted a fish. <laughs> and you'll notice you have a lot of juice that uh, kind of slops around everywhere, but you wanna just make sure to save that. You wanna put that on your cubes. It is really good. That's kind of the main part that we're using. And the next step is to slice the plant into small little cubes that can fit into each of those little slots on the ice cube tray. And I'm gonna make sure that any gel that gets on my hands ends up back on the aloe vera cubes. So if you're doing this for the first time, you definitely wanna do a test patch first to make sure that your skin isn't irritated by it. Sometimes when you use aloe vera, you will notice a little bit of like an itching kind of tingling sensation. If it becomes unbearable or you're concerned, definitely rinse it off of your face using water and consult a doctor. So now I'm just gonna take all that extra gel and spread it around, get it on the cubes. And take the extra gel on the side that we cut off of the plant and use that too. Here's a little close up. So I'm just gonna put some wax paper loosely over the ice cube tray and I'm going to put it in the freezer 
I actually kept this in overnight, but you can just keep it in for a couple hours until it's frozen. So this is the next day. These are the frozen cubes and you can see that they all have frost on them. All the gel froze over. So I'm just gonna take a dull knife to just kind of pop them out of the slots. And I'm putting them all in a freezer Ziploc bag so that I can save the ones that I'm not using yet. And these will last for a pretty long time. Um, I, I'll probably go through all of this in about maybe two weeks after using it every day. Now the reason that we are freezing the aloe vera cubes is because it helps to depuff your skin. Um, and it's also just really good for soothing your skin, um, especially if you have a minor sunburn, the cooling sensation can definitely be soothing. It also helps with cuts and nicks, minor ones. If you have like a big wound, you don't wanna just you know rely on aloe vera, but you're gonna apply it to clean skin like you see here and just kind of rub it onto your face. Leaving that other side of skin on the aloe vera cube actually helps you to be able to grip it um, and use it so it's not sliding out of your hand because it does melt pretty quickly. The aloe vera cubes also help to tighten your pores and minimize any scarring that you might have from acne and it moisturizes your skin. It's really good for both dry and oily skin because it's easily absorbed into your skin. I like to rub it all over my face except for my eyebrows and I don't rub it over my eyelids either. And this step is optional but I did take a jade roller and just kind of rub it more into my skin. A lot of times I'll do this before bed so I can go to sleep with the aloe vera on my face. Um, if you're doing it during the day, you can leave it on, but just a heads up, if you touch your face and put your hands near your mouth, you will taste the aloe vera and it does not taste good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe with your favorite skincare hacks. And let me know if you guys have tried all of Air Cubes.